Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a hopefully not too long video um, on some builds and from the title you can tell uh, I like to call them silly builds. So silly builds are something that has kept the game interesting to me since I started because I started around two years ago, two, three years ago. The um, game wasn't too old I guess and I got interested and then Played a while, stopped, started again, stopped, started again. And I guess to keep it again fresh, uh, I did some really silly builds, and most recently, uh, I've been really liking uh, Neza, or Neja, uh, however you pronounce his name. So I'll show you the current setup for him. I'm leveling up some stuff right now, so that doesn't matter. But for his stats, um, this is what I like to do. So, this is what I have on now, because why not? I haven't formed him yet. No, I'm lazy. So, range. Range is going to be the basic uh, silliness uh, factor for the most part for me. So, range makes things so much more fun. Duration, preferably you'd want duration with uh, Ninja, mostly over strength, but meh. Uh, depending on what build you're doing. But for this, it's mostly for farming, uh, lower level stuff, and just overall, hey, that's silly. So, range 250%, uh, efficiency 175, that's also pretty key. Having max efficiency is great because your 4 costs 25, and that's amazing. Uh, prime flow, just so you get the 638, it's, it's nice. Um, strength, you don't need much strength and the duration you also really don't need. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be going to a low-level defense that I've been doing for farming, which is Lith. So I'll probably find some random people there, uh, probably low-level, sometimes there's some higher-level people there, not usually. And I like to go here for relics, because you can get Meso relics uh, on B and C, and I want to get those uh, those necros parts, you know? So, we're here, we have that ember. Yeah, well, we're all no, not a super low level person. They know what they're doing. Level 9. So, just kind of stand here and wait a couple seconds and then use your 4. And, yeah, you just do this a decent amount. It's, it's pretty good. So, you can't quite hit the entire place. Uh, from the middle. So what you would want to do is you want to, preferably you'd have two, two uh, Nezaz and you'd have one stationed around here and then another one uh, around here. So you cast it, boom, um, and for the most part everything will die up to uh, wave 15 here. Around then stuff starts not dying. Pop one of these and you're good. So this is just something I've really enjoyed. I like coming here and doing this. Sometimes it makes people angry. I will not lie. It will make them angry because they want to level their stuff up and they don't like everything dying right away. But that's, I guess, the price you pay for playing on a place that uh, people want to farm on, I guess. So another... Uh, Fun thing to do when you're actually doing this, you can cast your ability and then you can float. So you can uh, do your, your glide. And that's uh, a little helpful if you want to go places and just do that in the air. Uh, for the other Warframes I'll be showing, you can't do that. So just running around, already wave 5. Uh, this just takes all of the all the pressure out of finding the people, the really low-level people that are such a hassle, you know. Uh, and sometimes they actually get glitched into the geometry. I've had some dudes get stuck in these, and if you don't have anyone that can uh, do AoE or any, like, room clear, then you can't really proceed. Um, so, let's do a little bit more of this, and, uh, oh, there we go. Down here, I'm playing with the controller. You can shun me all you want. I don't care. Uh, I don't have a nice table right now to use my mouse and keyboard on. And when I do, I usually use that, so. Oh well. And. 
and that looks to be it. So I'm just going to extract and I'm going to show off my next person. And I thought I should show you the stats. Uh, so this is the range you're going to be getting with uh, 250%, which is 47.5 meters. Pretty, pretty good. Everything else kind of sucks. Impale damage, 360. Eh. Duration, 4.8 seconds. That's okay. It's not good at all, but for what you're doing, it doesn't really matter. Slam damage, another 360. So you're going to be doing around 720 damage altogether if they survive the initial pale. And for the second person I'm going to be showing off, it is the man himself, Rhino. So I just have a really generic look on Rhino Prime here. And something you might not have known, uh, his fourth ability is basically the only ability in the game that has the largest range at 25 meters starting out. So I will show you um, him right now just uh, with uh, the upgrades that I'm going to be doing. So not this one, we want configuration B. So again, 250% uh, efficiency, 175, that's great, 25 per cast. It's awesome, prime flow, so you have as much energy as you can. Uh, power strength, 75%, that's pretty decent. So it does almost the full damage. And we will show you the actual abilities and what it turns out to be. So, uh, let's quickly hide that. You already saw it, but yeah, 25 range meters in range. That's, that's pretty good. And 800 damage um, on the stone. So that's already pretty good, but when you use uh, view these stats, with your mods, uh, it will be 62.5 meters. That is basically the largest range of any of the kill abilities, the press forward kill abilities in the game. And like my earlier ver or my earlier person, Neja or Neza, they theirs does slightly more than this, um, but this has so much more range. It has like 20 more 20 more meters. And that can really make a difference. So you won't be using any of his other abilities, but you will just be um, using the fourth ability. And since he doesn't have as big of an energy pool, you might need to use some energy restores, unless you're actually running around the map trying to do other stuff too. I haven't been doing that, um, because it's just more time for things that I really don't want. So... Let's hop into this map real quick, and I will show you. So, let's get going, and I've, I've just been having uh, quite a bit of fun with this because it's not great for anything other than Mercury or Earth, basically, but it's just, it's just nice. So. Do that, 75, 870, or 57s I should say. Experience, and that's not great, but it just it just kills people. It's just nice. No matter where they are basically, uh, this will reach I think it reaches up to the door. Almost up to the door if you're in the middle. Um, so let's throw down some energy restores. And again, if you have two people doing this uh, with the same build, you can you can basically destroy the entire map. Uh, just this one rhino can almost do the entire map, but you can almost do the entire map with him. Two people, you're 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 fine. So actually, let's see how far away that is. Forty meters. So I can reach all the way over there with my ability, which is pretty good. Um, how far away is about 52 so I can almost reach up there if I just get closer right here if I get that close I can hit the door so anyone up there is dead and anyone over here should theoretically die kills people in their spawn um, if you're, you know, anywhere over here. But again, that's okay, unless you really are looking for those low-level mods or just trying to, uh, pick up the resources, I guess. I'm not really here for resource hunting, because this isn't necessarily what that's for. 
This is just for killing the initial 15 to 20 waves. Pretty quick. Um, he starts maxing out around 10, 11, 12 waves um, before he can't really kill things, but then you just cast it again. It's got like two seconds uh, countdown or whatever where they're actually floating in the air. Then goes away and you can stomp him again and do damage. So for damage and range, Rhino is pretty darn good. If you want to do something like this, uh, this works for survival, this works in defense, uh, it works in if you just want to do exterminations, uh, you can get pretty good range. Um, I recommend this if you just want to go here or anywhere else on Earth at slow level and just kill everything pretty quick. <laughs> and this game is its over. That was a couple minutes faster than it should be for the most part. So that's Rhino. Pretty great. Um, basically the largest range for someone who you can just spam for. For the most part, just spam four, spam four, spam four, kill. Uh, you can't use his ability in the air, like you can uh, Nejaz. Uh, doesn't do quite as much with this build. You could easily throw an intensify on there instead of uh, if you want to really form him and get rid of that uh, basically defense polarity thing. So that's another another silly thing. And I'll do the final one after this. And let's this is my probably the funnest to me. And for the final build. Uh, it is Equinox. So, Equinox, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with doing almost any type of game uh, that I've been in, and you will soon see why. So, Equinox, I used to really not like when they came out. Uh, I got them, you know, the six parts, and I have to build each part, and I have to build Equinox. It took forever, and I. I was like, this is not worth the time. Really didn't like it. And then they added the augments, and the augments got me really, really into uh, Equinox. So, when watching the live stream uh, that they had showing off the augments, that got me, that got me so interested. So we're going to go to my equipment, and I'm going to show you off the build real quick. So, upgrade, and... I believe we want... no, yeah, we want this one. So I couldn't quite fit in a uh, 250% range, but this is... Uh, well, I could, but this is what I like because I get du duality. The duality is not great, but uh, it's okay. So, basically what you want for this is a little bit of duration. more the better. Um, Efficiency is really nice. Uh, I couldn't really get any more efficiency out of this without sacrificing duration, and I really want the duration that I have. And range. So, 235% range is basically what kind of makes this work again. Um, this isn't for the fourth ability. This is not for healing and or killing people that way. This is for calm and frenzy. So, giving them primed, uh, prime flow, you get quite a bit of power. Vigor, uh, that's on there just so they're not quite as squishy. It's not maxed out. I, I don't form a lot of my people right away unless I really love them. So, soon enough. And a little bit of continuity because you want, you know, at least a little bit of duration. And with this, this is just so much fun for me. So you can switch out duality if you really want to. You technically don't need Calm and Frenzy, but it's just so much more fun with that. So, I will show you the uh, ability costs. So this is default. Um, Men and Mayhem, if you're going to be into that kind of jam, I'm not. But 18 to 42 for range. Rest and Rage. This is uh, the kicker for me. So, power range is 50. Speed increase is 20 if you are using... Uh, Rage. And then the damage vulnerability for rest is 0.5, and then the ability radius is 5. So, uh, wherever it touches, ability radius is 5. So, with mods, um, the damage vulnerability goes down, 
again, isn't a huge issue to me, just because this is fun. Power duration, 28.6. Uh, that's, you know, not much more, but 28 seconds is amazing. Power range, 117 meters. This is great. I will show you why. And then the wake-up health threshold, uh, you can't really change. So, and then the other metamorphosis to pacify and provoke. Ah, I screw those. So, we're just going to hop back into uh, Lith, because why not? I've been doing Lith, and I really hope I just find more people of the same playing and don't care. But most of the time they care. Let's actually, let's hope we don't find anyone. I don't want to put on solo, though, come lazy. So, this is, you'll probably find this stupid, unless you're into this kind of thing and you like uh, some not super great but also can be very great builds. So the ability cost I believe was 18 um, on Rust and Rage, and this is just super, super, super fun. So I'm on fire from touching one of those things. You can be literally anywhere in this, uh, anywhere, and the great thing about this ability is you don't have to cast it on someone. You can't cast it anywhere, but they just have to be within range. So I'm just going to cast that there, and then I'm just going to spin around in a circle. And... Alright. Bop, 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 bop. You'll basically insta-kill um, anything up to level 40, 50, depending on if you have a good weapon. Uh, I've been leveling these up, so they're not great, but, boop, you can point anywhere. If there's an enemy within, what was it, uh, 11 meters, it will hit them within a circle. So, that, you know, oh, what's the big deal about that? You put people to sleep, and then you do finisher damage or whatever. That's, that's good. That's uh, something you want. You can do this anywhere, and with the augments, if people are within that, I believe, 10 meter range, so watch. Kill that guy. This guy falls asleep. Kill this guy. Oh. He's a little bit out of the range. You kill that guy, you can go down hallways with this. You can basically... If there's a giant horde of people, you just catch this, and then most of them will fall asleep, and then anyone else that keeps adding to the horde, they will continue to fall asleep for the duration of the timer. And... You can't reset the timer, I believe, for the first people, but you can, uh, for each person you put to sleep afterwards, if you use the ability again on them, it will set the timer to the original timer. If they are, fall, if they fall asleep based on the ability spreading, then it shares the timer for the ability first cast. So, this can be good in a lot of different things. I've done this just in uh, Spy. You can do this in Spy and put cameras to sleep and enemies to sleep. It's not best. I like using Loki because I'm... I like Loki. Works for that. Um, it's not great for extermination because you don't want people to fall asleep. Uh, it's not super great in defense uh, just because it's not necessarily good for the people to fall asleep. You kind of want them to swarm around and then kill them. Uh, kill them as fast as possible. But if you want to be a troll, um, you can basically just like point this anywhere. Anywhere that uh, people come from and see like I got that guy. I can get a... Oh, I need more energy. Oop. Get that person. It's kind of cast it all over the place. Finds people. Just seeks them out basically. <laughs> and they're asleep and they're not going to do anything the rest uh, of their timer. And then you go up, up, and you can shoot them, um, but if they are within the area of you shooting, they can wake up. I'm surprised why you didn't wake up. But they can wake up, and that's, uh, that's one one thing that's kind of not as good, but that's, you can't be OP. You don't want this to be OP. It already pretty is good. So, that is, um, this, I guess, more things you could use it on. Um, the one where uh, you ride the little, or you have to escort the uh, payload thing. It's really good in that. Uh, you just point, people fall asleep, can't do anything about it, you don't have to fight them. They can't shoot your thing, they're not there, and you can basically, no matter where they are, hit them. So that's good. 
uh, interception. This is really good. Um, low to, I guess, high. Uh, not sorty. I wouldn't say really do this on sorties. Unless there's a frost that you can um, hide behind their uh, shields, their orbs. So, this is that. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a little, little, little bit long. And uh, talk about a lot of stupid stuff. And this is basically just a stupid video that I find fun. If you found it interesting at all, tell me. If not, oh hey, the Shadow W or Shadow X uh, Horde Two. So, if found this interesting. Please leave a comment, like, dislike. I I want to know what you think about it. So, have a great day, everyone, and see you guys later. Bye. You guys, something I should point out. Um, if you are using Equinox and uh, you are using the day aspect and you are using his four. People on Lith, uh, low level, they will walk into the aura that you're emitting, do bleed damage, and uh, they have such low health, it will kill them pretty quick, so they can't really get to you. Uh, I'll demonstrate that in a couple seconds. See over there, they're just, they're just dying. Um, I guess that's pretty good too. I don't really like using day aspects. So that's just me, I like the night, I like making them go to sleep, so. Another little thing you could do. Yeah, see ya guys.